Now, if you need to import standard steel profiles, uh, because you need custom profiles, then what you want to do uh, is to uh, go to your options menu, go down to complex profiles, and click import standard steel profiles. Uh, once you do that, the standard steel profile uh, dialog will come up. Uh, I believe it typically now defaults to U.S. Imperial, but just in case it doesn't, uh, go select U.S. Imperial. Once you've done that, you then go and define uh, or select uh, what type of shapes you want to uh, import into your um, profile manager. So what it does is it takes and it imports these profiles into your uh, profile manager. So I'm going to go and select, in this case, T-shape. I'm going to select the T-shape that I want, uh, WT that I want. To, to bring in. Make sure you assign it the right material as well. Uh, masonry prick is probably not what you want to assign to a steel uh, element as terms of material. <clears throat> so you're going to go down here, change the material to uh, metal steel. You're then going to go ahead and click import. And again, you don't need, just need to do one. You need multiple ones in here. Just go ahead and put all the ones that you want uh, to import. Click import. Those then get imported into your your profile manager, or as profiles, I should say. And now, if you were to go through your beam tool or your column tool, you click segment. You're gonna to wanna to click this option here. Not This is the segment option that you don't want. You want this one. That way you can uh, select the profile option. And once you select the profile option, you're gonna see all the different profiles that have been imported into uh, your current um, uh, project. Then of course you can, once you've done that, you can then draw that profile. Okay, so that's our tip of the week.